and we have the majority. And I, you know, I, today we are just um, voting on the resolution that was that we asked our staff to prepare, and that is it. And we already, I, uh, I approved the resolution, and so I got to. I would like to go to one sack or five hours. I would like to make a statement because I Okay, so uh, with that, section three, um, so I guess you say the council, so I cannot say for, this is false statement because the council doesn't mean now Guan and myself, we don't approve of this because we don't think this is true. So maybe you should say the Chinese dictator find a post statement of the council member West as true. And in section four, the Chinese Communist Dictator, the three of you guys, the new thing of three hereby Central Council Women in Japan West, uh, conduct described and above. And section five going forward, uh, the three Chinese Communist Dictator, the gang of three, have expressed Council Women in Japan West CCC each other inappropriate and international contact toward the other uh, three council communist China, Chinese dictators. Um, and I understand you have the majority, and the thing is that with your majority, why don't why, why do you monitor me going to the bathroom often, text message, you know, uh, not looking at the lights, and may have finished, not finished. Yes, but Instead of wasting your time on monitor how often I go to the bathroom, why don't you fix the homeless problem where they pee in the park, peeing in people's yard? You know what I mean? So when you have that power, you should do something good like that to take care of the homeless population. So watching, monitoring, you know, what I speak, you know, or what I say, or when I go to pee to the bathroom. I mean, come on, guys. Yeah. And so the thing is that there are a couple of questions. I do have a, like first or second. I want to address you. You know what? When when you have that on the side, you have to use it. Let us speak. You see, that's what you can sell. Finish and you're quite right. Please, 
Ghê chưa? Ghê chưa? Thầy trưởng người viên ghê cái lộn ghê mà không nhục nhã giả sợ Fish, fish market mà không à. Còn hơn trả cộng lãnh đó mà không À, nhục, nhục nhã cho cộng đồng Việt Nam mình quá trời Nhục nhã cho cộng đồng Việt Nam mình quá bà con ơi Recall Nhục Nhục, nhục nhã cộng đồng Việt Nam mình quá Nhục 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 nhã cho cộng đồng Việt Nam mình quá Nhục nhã quá gây lộn còn hơn cho cá cộng lãnh đó bà con ghê cho gây lộn ghê cho bà con gây lộn ghê cho đó còn hơn cả cái cộng lãnh nữa nhục nhã vô cùng rồi rồi ấp bếp cày cấp điện ấp bếp cày ấp bếp cày ấp bếp cày ấp bếp cày xong xong rồi ấp ấp bếp cày nam quan rồi ấp bếp cày nam quan rồi rồi cấp mất đó. Rồi, ôm bếp cài. Ôm bếp cài. Ôm bếp hai người rồi. Rồi. Thầy trưởng ôm bếp cài. Em mì với lại... Thầy trưởng, thầy trưởng lấy băng keo bịt miệng của em mì với lại của Nam Quang rồi. <cười> Rồi. Ấp bếp cần năm quan ơi. Ấp bếp cần ngày nguyên em em không biết rồi. Ấp bếp cờ bay mi ấp bếp cờ.
I have, a motion, I have a motion made by Vice Mayor Ho, a second made by Councilmember Bonzo. This is to adopt a resolution entitled A Resolution of the Mayor and City Council of the City of Westminster, California, Centering Councilwoman Amy Fentas, District 1, for unacceptable conduct. I'll go ahead and call roll. Um, were you able to read what's in the, um, the centering? So it's just only to center public rec. Yes, right? Read the whole thing. Yeah, read the whole thing. No, it's just read. Just read, 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 read we have the right yeah. to ask for that. Yes. Read out what you're centering me for. So I would like to hear it. That's a, that's a discretion of the council. No. We are generally obligated to read the title. So if the council would like to, have the entire resolution read. That's up. To, that's the discretion of the council. What part of the sanction that we were talking about last time? That did you did you guys put it in there? Oh, so we're discussing the sanctions. So the sanctions were not included. That was. What was the reason? That was so when the resolution was drafted uh, for this agenda, it was it was just overlooked. So is this in the same? Thanks. For sanctions? Yes. And we brought that yes, at the next meeting for that part? It, yes, because there was council direction to bring it back to the future meeting. Unfortunately, the sanction part uh, was left out. Okay. All right, go ahead and then read the resolution today. The resolution. I don't know. Uh, what, what? I'm open for recognition. Don't be a coward. Uh, you know, I'm fine that, uh, yes, I'm, I'm fine if you want to read the entire thing, if you could like uh, quickly, because I really think that it's a waste, and especially at the request of some council members. I don't know that. I mean, go for that. We, we, uh, my point is, we, we should, we as a council, have this thought already. We should be able to read that before we come to the meeting. We have been doing this for a while, oh, yeah. and, and, and today you have a lot of items that we should uh, need to discuss. So my recommendation is not to read the entire. Mr. Mayor, I'm very very reminded that the ones I brought this past. Let me let you through. Oh, I respect oh, you. you. I respect you. You respect me. I respect you. Okay, let me finish my word. Okay. So my recommendation is we need we need to move on because we have a lot to discuss tonight. We have uh, many more hours. Uh, so I don't know if you guys want to. Uh, is, uh, you can motion it or uh, okay, we need to take a vote that we actually we have a motion. We have a motion. So I, I believe that I hope that so Vice Mayor will you know, stand up for herself. You know, okay, according to the the city of Chelsea, we need to take a vote. So, a vote. A yes okay, so is there a motion to read the whole thing? Is there a motion to read the whole uh, resolution? Yes, there is one here. I, I, I made a motion to read the whole thing. Know what you're saying? Let me hear from the there was a motion made to call the question, and then we voted on that. But prior to that, there was a motion and a second to adopt the resolution. Okay, so we have that motion already made, and we need to vote on that. That hasn't occurred. So all we need to do at this point is vote on the motion, which is a recommendation to adopt the resolution. And we make well, the thing, is that, so the thing is that I don't even really know what you guys are centering me for. So I don't know. <laughs> so No, because Tony, you should put your, your name to this agenda and Carlos Mento too, what you're censoring me for. It's really ridiculous. So I think, please read out what you're censoring me for. Uh, uh, what, uh, people can look at the circus of council. Uh, uh, the vice mayor and Mr. Carlos Mento. Ridiculous accusation. Of, uh, I would like to ask this. 
uh, everything stays the same, but uh, I would like. Uh, I, I don't know it's fine, but at this point, you know, like I said, I, I want to discuss it. Okay. And after, said, after a call for question that passes, we go right to the motion that is on the table. Okay, after so there is no. After the khỏi bầu cũng biết ba hai rồi <cười> khỏi bầu cũng biết ba hai rồi khỏi khỏi bầu cũng biết ba hai rồi ba ba hai ba hai là chắc ăn nhất It's always been that way to me. And I want to express that my intention is not to sign with any council members. You never Say, give oh, God, to, to your organization. You never work with me. You never sit down with me. But that's a lie. So if you work with me, you do not. That's why I said this is a shock. This is a gender lie. So Mr. 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 Việt Nam mình cái lộn quá trời không?
So, Mr. Monzo, may you protect yourself. <laughs> this is a new resolution. We forgot about that. So, Mr. Monzo, please be correct. Maybe listen next time. Okay? I'll tell you You should listen. Do you listen next time, okay? Don't tell me that I need to listen. Oh, yes. Resolution. Oh, it's me, I hope? No. Oh, huh? No. 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 Oh. Wow. So chaotic. Wow. It's chaos. Um, no, I mean, if you would like, I would say I apologize to everybody for having to sit through, but if, you know, if she would like to hear it and then everybody wants to hear it again, that's fine. I just ask that if you could speak through, because you know we did spend three, three different meetings, um, very very long meetings on this, and so what you wrote on the resolution is based on what we told you we wanted on the resolution. So this is nothing new, but go ahead. I would vote. I would vote yes. Go ahead. Before, I'm going to clarify something with the city attorney because there's an accusation being made. Did, with the previous uh, hearings that we had on this topic, legally, did Ms. Councilmember West have the sufficient time to address each and every one of these items that were listed on here at, at previous meetings? Is she not? That's a factual question. Well, oh, yes or no? You yeah. add 32 items. Which... No, 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 I'm asking you a legal question. I'm looking at it. Let me interrupt and somebody else is talking. My, oh. my, my, my oh. question is, so what's the time? Let me finish the time. Let me finish and I will call you. Okay. The question is to the city attorney. You said it was a factual question, so answer the, answer the question. Did she, at the previous meetings, when we went line by line, and then she was given, she was legally had, uh, had the opportunity to answer each and every one of these items line by line, did she not? They, we had extensive discussions. So, or yes or no? Yes. Yes, we have. Uh, okay, that's, so I just want to clarify that you can answer a simple question, yes, it's a yes or no question. Because you guys are trying to intimidate him, yes. and we all know that. Yes. Wow, 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 wow. So, you like to intimidate people and even the city attorney. If you don't like to intimidate even me, this is a resolution, a new resolution. And on here, I look at it, there's 22 items, there's 21 items that you guys accuse me of. Now it's 32. It's A, 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 B, A, C, A, D, A, E. Like, what the heck is that? Did you finish the call? Mayor, you don't have your bill. Okay. And your bill is? Yes, go ahead. Okay, a resolution of the mayor and city council of the city of West Hollywood, California, Supreme Council in the evening and west, which is one for unacceptable conduct. Or as the City Council of the City of Westminster has a duty to the residents of Westminster to ensure that state and federal laws and the rules, regulations, and policies of the City of Westminster are followed by all members of the City Council, and that members of the City Council demonstrate the highest level of professionalism and respect while acting in the course and scope of their office. And whereas the ethics policy adopted by the Westminster City Council on May 22, 2019, ethics policy requires each council member to affirm that they understand that the citizens of Westminster expect them to serve with dignity and respect and to be an agent of the democratic process, will treat other public officials and members of city staff and the public with respect, patience, courtesy, and civility, even when I disagree with the opinions they have expressed, will be honest with other public officials, city staff, and the public, and will take responsibility for their actions, even when it may be uncomfortable to do so. And whereas complaints were recently made by other members of the city council, asserting that Councilwoman Van West had violated the city council's ethics policy by failing to treat all public officials with respect, patience, courtesy, and civility, 
and being honest with other public officials, city staff, and the public. And whereas at the June 12, 2024 city council meeting, the city council agenda is an item to discuss and consider outly, the statement alleged to have been made by council and the PMS, and to decide whether a resolution of censure should be prepared. Whereas during the discussion of that item, the city council duly considered the evidence and comments presented by the other members of the city council, as well as the comments and responses made by council on the MS, and public comments. And whereas at the conclusion of the discussion, the city council voted to proceed with the preparation of a resolution of censure. And whereas the city council has determined that councilwoman Dan West violation of the city's ethics policy, as more particularly set forth below, has brought this was it to the city of Westminster. And whereas the city council does not condone or approve this type of conduct or behavior and finds it necessary and prudent to declare a strong disapproval of such conduct. Whereas the city council further determines that adoption of this resolution is necessary to affirm that such conduct will not be tolerated and to prevent such conduct from being repeated. Now, therefore, the city council of the city of Westminster is hereby resolved as follows. Section one. The city council finds that the recitals set forth above are true and correct. Section two. The city council finds that council of Minnesota West engaged in the following conduct in violation of the city of Westminster's ethics policy, which requires council members to treat all public officials with respect, patience, courtesy, and civility, and be honest with other public officials, city staff, and the public. A. Violation of the Code of Ethics, Sections 2A, 2C, and 2E. Councilman Amy Van West constantly violates Section 2A and disrespects the speakers at council meetings by leaving bias, texting, arguing, and engaging in verbal altercations with the speakers. She has walked out in the middle of a meeting for at least an hour to push back, sometimes to eat or talk on the phone, and is voting on three to four agenda items. Disruptive B. On um, at least one occasion when she came back, she wanted to vote on an agenda item the city council had already voted on. C. Conduct guidance. One constantly violates subsection A, honor the role of the chair in maintaining order. Councilman Amy Van West ignored and rebelled against the chair's orders when he was trying to run a meeting and called the meeting to order, ignores the rule of order. Two, practice ability. She constantly is not civil and lacks decorum. Recently, she called the council majority weak when they did not vote with her on the substitute motion on the resolution to denounce the Jane Fonda Day. D. She places her self-interest over the needs of the constituents. And examples, insisted on putting her name on council resolutions and cover letters numerous times and spending a couple hours at a time fighting for it, constantly grandstanding herself and then ignoring the loss. E, section 11, confidential information. She violated the confidentiality of closed session information to advance her personal interests. F, section 14, advocacy. Constantly media stories lying for example, recently regarding a hot dog barbecue item. She calls the city the city department and they told her it was okay to do it. G, members conduct with city staff. She does not treat staff as professional. She acts as if she is above the law. One disrupts the city staff from their job by staying in their office until late and by constantly calling them until they answer their phone. And two, publicly criticizes staff from the dais and lies about what employees said. H, May 24th, 2023, during council meeting, insinuated staff of hiring someone they knew through the RFP the selection process for a billboard sign project. One, or excuse me, I, June 7th, 2023, filmed a live social media video insinuating staff of taking a bribe for a special treatment from a special event from that happened for a long time. City Attorney, that's false. Why is it still on here? Please, you are reading it? Yeah, just, I'm just reading it. Jay, at the community events, constantly lose seating arrangements to her liking. This is a violation of basic matters and decency. K, the rates it uses to be seen in the short of the public in violation of the code of conduct. Evidence, there's no evidence. Members of Congress, the public. You want him to read, right? You want them to read the resolution, right? The other thing. No, but there's no evidence. No, 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 no. I just want to be so ready. 
Okay. Well, when specifically addressed during oral communication by members of the public, she does not acknowledge or make eye contact with the speaker. This is a complete violation of the Conduct Practice Act. Listen if you can. Constantly disrupts meeting by passing notes and speaking with the city attorney. A violation of the Code of Conduct. Conduct in public meetings. And on multiple occasions, undermine the mayor's authority by insisting on signing documents in his stead. Oh, constantly leaving the non agenda oral communications portion of the meeting. The violation of the Code of Conduct Practice Act. Listen if P. February 24, 2024, 20, 20, Huntington West Blue League opened the day after arriving late. She placed herself in front of the mayor and all the elected officials who arrived early while we were already in the process of getting the players coming out to show complete disrespect and lack of basic manners. Q. February 2024, left the dice to interact with members of the public while the council meeting was still in session. R. Filed false police report about a fellow council member. S. May 4th, 2024, recorded the YouTube. You know, event. that's wrong, right? The false police report. Let me read, read, read that. Could be a lawsuit. You know that, right? The attorney? Because the police report, we have it. It says there's no problem. Yeah, give me an Hmm. Go on. 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 Councilwoman Van West left her seat, was disrespectful to the mayor, 
When she asked to come back to her seat, she did not comply and talk back to the person in charge of running the meeting, the mayor. She talked back to the mayor, he cries at the quorum, and refused to come back. At 2.06, Councilman Van West was speaking from the theater seats while Councilmember Carlos Monzo was making a statement. This is an example of lack of focus on the meeting, unprofessional behavior, lack of decorum. It did not listen even courteously and attentively to the public who stand before the council. AD, no member should request or grant a special consideration, treatment, or advantage to any person beyond that which is available to every other citizen in similar circumstances or need. B, conduct guidelines. One, members conduct with each other. A, honor the role of the chair in making the order, 5324, at two hour, five minutes, 45 seconds. She left her seat and the mayor asked her to come back. She talked back and did not come back. <coughs> Practice of civility and decorum in discussions and debate, calling the council majority weak when we did not vote her way, as stated on the previous page. Two, members conduct with the public. Making the public feel welcome is an important part of the democratic process. On 5824, meeting from 226 to 256, she left her seats during open public communications for 30 minutes. C. Practice active listening. We must seek to demonstrate active listening and interest in each speaker's presentation and to avoid any pessimist body language. West has a pessimist body language that signals disinterest, disrespect, and condescending body language that can the public go like texting and doing something else, like going to the back room while they are trying to address you, is outright rude and a violation of the practice of active listening. Three members conduct with staff, treat all staff as professionals, clear, honest communication that respects the abilities, experience, and dignity of each individual is expected, putting words in their mouth and accusing them of something they didn't do. C5.22.4, item 5.5, so we do not direct our community services, so it's okay to have a barbecue on the state to support behavior for the staff. When staff is speaking to explain the process, I'd like to reply to your question, because then you're invited to thank them. C5.22.4, item 5.4, so you can try to answer council and then left. Questions about the acts on the agenda, she continuously text, did not listen, wasting everyone's time because she had to ask three times. Plan City Manager for writing on the report, Council and Town West, and the City Manager for the Army is working on the report. <coughs> AE, Council and Town West, press conference, 641 2024, at 14541 Westminster Street, Westminster, California, 92683. 2229 to address issues stemming from the May 3rd special meeting and subsequently efforts to bully and silence her, which involves a police report. 2245, she was verbally berated by the council member Carlos Monzo when I spoke out against April 30th, the James Bond today. 2340, when I was speaking to Diet, Councilman Monzo was waiting for me, not true, and an exaggeration of what really happened. He did not block her. 2603, they tried to accuse me of stealing a $6 police report as a way to silence the bullying me. But when the allegation was proven false, they came up with more false allegations that they are going to attempt to use to censure me tomorrow night. This is a lie. 2708, tomorrow night's attempt to censure me is just an underhand tactic to silence me from exposing Councilman Carlos Monaco's actions. She lies to the public to incite them and to cover up her actions. Section 3, the City Council finds that the above statements by Councilwoman Van West were true and that her conduct in these matters were improper, unprofessional, and unacceptable and constitute a violation of the City Ethics Policy. The Council finds that Councilwoman Van West was acting as an individual when she engaged in this conduct and was acting without any authorization or ratification by the City Council and contrary to the legitimate interests of the City. Section 4, the City Council hereby censures Councilwoman Van West for the conduct described herein and expresses the strongest possible disapproval and disavowal therefore. Section 5, going forward, the City Council respectfully but earnestly requests and expects Councilwoman Van West to cease and desist from any further improper or unprofessional conduct toward the other City Council members. Section 6, the Mayor shall sign as to the passage and approval and adoption of this resolution, section seven, the city clerk shall certify to the passage and adoption of this resolution and shall affix the signature in the city of the city of the so I just want to express that my intention is not to sign with any council members to censure uh, Councilman West personally. 
but rather to address some constraints that have arisen. Understand that this action is necessary at this time. However, I'm looking at the potential, as we the West, potential for positive, positive change, and I am committed to reversing this decision in the future so we can work together towards improvements. That's how I have it. So next uh, item is 5.10.